Welcome to video number 10 for Physics 102. This video discusses the somewhat subtle concept of where is potential energy equal to zero. In class we introduced the concept of gravitational potential energy. In fact, we discussed two different expressions for this gravitational potential energy. We have the full expression for gravitational potential energy, GMM over R, which always works, just as the force GMM over R squared always works. We also introduced a different expression for gravitational potential energy, MGH, for near the surface of a planet. This expression for gravitational potential energy, MGH, works under the same conditions that we can express the force of gravity as mg. We also discussed that the work done on an object due to gravity can be written in terms of the changes in the gravitational potential energy. Or written mathematically, the work done by the force of gravity is equal to minus delta u. Let's think about this quantity of gravitational potential energy written as mgh. Here we have Mr. Clumsy dropping a ball. Where is the gravitational potential energy of the ball equal to zero? Well, m and g are both numbers. m is the mass of the ball, and g is 9.8 meters per second squared. So essentially, this is the same question as, where is height equal to zero, h? Well, a logical place you might think for h to be equal to zero would be the ground. If we define the ground to be h equals zero, then the gravitational potential energy on the ground UG is going to be zero when the ball is on the ground. Now let's move Mr. Clumsy to a platform on the top of a skyscraper. Now, where is h equals zero? This is a perhaps a little bit trickier question. Do we define h equals zero to be at the platform? Or do we define it to be in the ground? Or do we even define it to be in the subway tunnel underneath the skyscraper? Which of these should we choose for h equals zero? Or, reset, which of these should we choose for the zero of gravitational potential energy? Well, the universe doesn't care where we choose h to be equal to zero. So, due to that, any of these choices, the platform, the ground, the subway tunnel, they're all fine. Doesn't matter which we pick. You should just be very explicit with your choice. So when you're approaching a problem with gravitational potential energy, explicitly write down that I am going to choose the zero of gravitational potential energy to be the platform, for example. If I choose the ground, say, to have zero potential gravitational potential energy, then points in the subway tunnel below the ground have negative gravitational potential energy. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Why is there nothing wrong with negative potential energy? Well, the work done by gravity is equal to negative the change in gravitational potential energy. Delta U is always U final minus U initial, so the work done is the initial potential energy minus the final potential energy. Or using MGH for potential energy, it's Mg initial height minus Mg final height. The key point in all of this is that the work done does not depend upon the value of potential energy itself. Only the change in the potential energy is a relevant quantity. And the change in potential energy between any two points will be independent of where we choose h equals zero. In your quiz, you will verify yourself that the work done by gravity on Mr. Clumsy's ball will be the same for multiple choices of h equals zero. This concludes this video.